Thank you very much, Dean Shankman. Uh, thank you to all of you for being here, especially parents who put their kids through college and got us to this, got us to this great place. Uh, thank you to President Minnis and all of our amazing professors and everyone who made this ceremony possible, and Cardinal Dolan for being here as well. Thank you. So uh, I almost uh, didn't get to print this speech. My remaining uh, WEPA dollars expired yesterday, so <laughs> I had to find some more. According to Winston Churchill, a great speech has three things. A great introduction, a great conclusion, and as little as possible in between. <laughs> so that's the model I've decided to follow. I sat down on my porch last night to write this speech, tasty beverage by my side, non-alcoholic, of course. And I began like I did most of my academic career, by Googling best speeches. <laughs> I then got distracted watching YouTube videos of cats, <laughs> then scrolling through social media, then reaching out to my friends for help. They are the real MVPs. Without them, I definitely wouldn't be standing in front of you, leaning over this undersized podium. At the most recent three-hour and 14-minute athletic recognition night, Daryl Jones put a great perspective on awards and recognition. His name, jersey, and picture hangs in more places than I can count, and I'm a math major. But his simple response is that he is just a representative of his class, as am I. They needed to pick somebody to come up and talk, and they figured some white guy from central Kansas named Jerome would work, I guess. <laughs> I'm not the most talented, and I'm probably not even the hardest working, and I'm certainly not the most knowledgeable when it comes to Google, I mean, I mean trivia, <laughs> as shown this week. But through the perfect storm of wonderful professors, fantastic friends and classmates, an amazing and beautiful girlfriend, and the most encouraging family in the world, I'm able to be here representing us, the Benedictine College Class of 2016. It's been a great handful of years for us, We've seen buildings go up, fields torn down. The baseball team said goodbye to the hill. No exaggeration here, we made snow angels on Friday and then played a doubleheader on Saturday. <laughs> Welcome to Kansas. When the first big storm of freshman year hit, I was in study hall preparing to walk back to Turner in the rain. At the doorway, there were a couple of the biggest and baddest dudes on campus calling their mothers before they walked out in the big scary storm. <laughs> Welcome to Kansas. Our class has made some spectacular memories at Arrowhead Stadium, won conference and national championships, and we marched for life three and a half times. <laughs> and ours will some, be some of the last names up the signing tower. When we graduate, we will become teachers, doctors, lawyers, engineers, nurses, scientists, brothers, sisters, priests, and nuns. But we will all be Ravens. I don't think there's an official record for this, but our class holds the record for the most fight songs ever sung. No, 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 just kidding, that comes later, that comes later. <laughs> Apparently it's traditional for a valedictorian to give some words of wisdom to his class, so here's three of them. Number one, be persistent. I would not have had the blessing to coming into this great college if it had not been for the persistence of one staff member sitting up towards the front. Somebody wake up Coach Murphy, turn up his hearing aid, and thank him for his persistence. <laughs> he just wouldn't stop calling me, asking me how my basketball games were going, and trying to get me to sign. Thank you, Coach. Secondly, take a proper perspective on life. Take time to appreciate where you came from, where you are, and where you're going. Make an impact on someone else's life every day by letting them know that you love them. Thank God for the amazing blessings that you have. Make a choice, even when it's difficult, to live life simply and joyfully. The final piece of advice is to be open to God's will. However we humans measure success with all our medals, awards, and titles, this really comes secondary to the one thing that really matters, following Jesus Christ, following whatever path the Lord has in mind for us. Oftentimes, it takes as many chances to discern his will. Maybe you're a biology major, convinced to becoming a doctor, but then you decide to become a priest. 
Maybe you're an English major that ends up being a counselor. But be persistent and open. You will be rewarded. Ravens, let's soar. Let our communities be vibrant. Let our minds be scholarly. Let our hearts always be faithful. And let our pianos always be Steinways. <laughs> Go Ravens, thank you.